<laughs> hey, Rudy, how are things going, man? Yeah, you know, mate, I, mean, I feel like a deja vu here, but, you know, the last week, the last month's podcast, but same old, same old, you know, I mean, that's I mean, maybe, I guess, when it comes to the podcast, that's a problem. We should, I don't know, mix things up a bit, you know. I feel a bit stale as we enter this million millionth week of lockdown or whatever, you know. Wow, is it? Has it only been a million weeks? It feels like way longer than yeah. that. Uh, mm. Okay, so okay, I've, yeah, okay. Uh, let me think. Okay, now I've, I've I've had a few ideas and 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 I've got one that I think might work here. Okay, before we get into this, is this idea better than your last idea of offering to fix all of CD Projekt Red's Cyberpunk issues for a free T-shirt because you're a fan of the game? Because I mean, we can't even code. I don't even know why you wanted to throw that one out there. Okay. I really, really wanted that the the t shirt, but yeah, no, it's it's a little bit better than that. Idea. Is it better than it's the idea you had to buy a three D printer and get that to make a PlayStation Five to spell, despite that not being at all how electronics work? I mean, all I needed was some wires and some you know to, to stuff right out of the trash. Yeah, I assume. Yeah. Anyway, it's it's better than that. Okay, too. right. Give me your idea. Hit me up. Come on. Okay, okay, okay. So, well, we, we've we actually been making an effort to be sociable this last month. I mean, you, you me, and uh, uh, one of our friends, the uh, the filthy assistant from our... Uh, he's no, Is he still a Anubis cult worshipper, or did he... Did no, he is still an Anubis cult worshipper. That is, that, no, that is the case. Okay, but, uh, but he also but, um, he also got a PlayStation 4, so, you know... Yeah, no, we, we, we need friends desperately, and we are kind of really scraping the barrel with uh, with that mm-hmm. one. And uh, crazy Anubis cult worshipping people are, uh, are are okay now that uh, that we're that starved of uh, of, of company during the uh, during the lockdown. So, yeah, no, we've we've been doing that with the online co op sessions with uh, with all of us. We've been playing Star Wars Squadrons, a bit of Borderlands Two, pushing past that wonderful sense of humour that Borderlands have got. You know, all all that good stuff. Yeah, you know, I must say actually, I've really really enjoyed. Uh, man, I mean, it's been it's been good just to chill. It's like pretend we got a bit of a social life, um, you know. Just giving us something, you know. Midweek we get together, play a few games. It's been good. No, no, it's all good stuff. Yeah, all good stuff. Yeah. So I I feel like if we extrapolate on that and we we kind of take it to its most logical conclusion that, that there is an one inevitable ending to how the story ends. What been Borderlands three? <laughs> no. Oh God. Uh, no, we need to pivot towards Twitch streaming. You mean like we stream our playing sessions to, you know, well, in theory, a supposed audience on Twitch, you know, because it's the only popular game streaming platform, you know, Twitch. Oh, yeah, no, everyone knows Twitch. No, absolutely. Ever since Ninja shut down, it's been all about Twitch. Of course, it's about Twitch. (laughs) <laughs> oh yes, uh, but yeah, everything has moved on to Twitch now. I mean, people don't watch uh, YouTube vids anymore. There's there's no money in that with all the algorithms. Yeah, I mean, certainly no money for us. I can tell you right now. Exactly. So so now everyone's a streamer. So so we need to get into that as well. But I mean, I guess if everyone's doing it, what's our you know our, our hook? You know, we need a, we we need something to you know to get into. We, we, for a start, we suck at games. Our banter consists of. Both of us shouting each other to please stop shooting us up the arse again, please, Dante. Mm. And we've virtually no followers on like any platform. Even your mum stopped listening to us. That's because she's hooked to Twatch, Rudy. She's not watching this on YouTube or anything because she's looking at that. Even she's looking for some Twatch action. Right. Okay. Uh, anyway, so what do you propose? Okay. So you're right. We 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 do need a hook. So at first, I thought, well, you know, we could plan ahead, uh, up the banter a little bit, uh, feature some popular gaming choices. You know, some games that we don't normally play. So something a bit more current than Borderlands Two, perhaps. Uh, maybe get some custom graphics done to set us apart from the other people on Twitch. I mean, that sounds that sounds pretty sensible, actually. Yeah. I mean, all the all the sort of things I've seen popular Twitch streamers do, like that guy who definitely isn't a ninja. Oh god, he's so not a ninja, is he? Uh, I mean, yeah, I, th- I thought about that at first. Then I realised what might get us a few pity watches. But Twatch is now all about controversy. I mean, have you heard of Belle Def- Delphine, the gamer girl? Uh, it rings a girl, but then I'm a forty-year-old man, and being interested in someone called Belle Delphine or whatever her name is sounds illegal. Is it? Well, okay, look, she's kind of the, the queen of Twatch right now, and she's all about the social media controversy, so we need to mimic what she's doing in the industry. What, okay, in what, in what way can we, can we do that? Okay, well, here first, I've got you this bright pink wig, so here you go. What? I am, I am not wearing that. And why have you already put into pigtails? 
Uh, then, 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 okay, don't need to ask that. But, but really, I, mean, I can't stress this enough. You really need to shave off that beard that you've grown during lockdown and wax your entire body. Maybe dress as a schoolgirl. Wait, 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 wait. I am not shaving off this beard, okay? It took me all year to grow this four millimetres of hair. And look, I won't have it, I told you, okay? Plus, schoolgirl, are you mad? I'd get arrested. That's weird. It's just a stunt. It's a gimmick. It's just like a parody. People will get it. They'll tune in by their thousands. I mean, I get... Like, okay, I guess I see what you mean. Like The wig and stuff is, is fine. I'm um, not too sure about the waxing. but And I, I guess it would be funny if you got, you got me dressed up, you know, like this kind of thing. But... I don't know about the outfit. Is that? I mean, is this is this all we need to do? Yeah, t- absolutely, totally, one hundred percent. You dress like that, giggle a little bit, play some good games with me and the filthy assistant. You know, fun stuff. We'll play Borderlands, and you can do some lose, film yourself sucking off a guy, and do a photo shop of you getting raped in the woods. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What? What was that? Wait, what? What was the bit you said quietly and too fast? I, I said, listen, we'll play some Borderlands, and then. You can do some loots, film yourself, cut off an uncle guy, and do a Photoshop of you getting raced in the woods. What? what? Hang on a, hang on a flipping minute. I'll, I'll do what? Film myself giving a guy fellatio and do a photo shot of me doing... I'm not even going to say that, to be honest. You know, what What you want about? Hey, 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 look, we, we want the viewers, and this is what Twatch is all about now. Look, I thought it was about playing games and creating communities and all that good stuff. Yeah, it's, you know, wholesome. You know, communities, wholesome. Okay, sure, it it, it is... If you want to be a standard Twitch streamer, um, but and be res- respected and all that kind of bollocks, but we're aiming higher. We, we won't play a few games. We'll fake you getting raped in the woods and reap the rewards. I mean, are we at least like swapping roles and taking turns in this whole you know scenario here? Oh no, I mean that would be way too confusing for our viewers if if I came out in the wig. Sometimes, no, 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 no. That's it's it's all got to be it's all got to be in you know in a non confusing kind of way. Right. I'm going to say right now, you can take this idea and stuff up your zinger because I am not, and I will repeat this, I am not doing any of that. Okay? None of that. All right? <sighs> Fine. Fuck. Rudy. Jeez. We'll just be nobodies forever. Whatever you want. Well done. I'll, um, I'll keep the wig, though. Just pass it. Pass it here. <laughs> Hello there, Jam Baggers. It is time for another episode of the Jam Bags Comedy Gaming Podcast uh, with my co-host here, Mr. Dante Rodriguez. And introduced with absolute panache there with my good friend, Mr. Rudy Manchego. Hello, Rudy. How have you been this month? Yeah, I have been here in the same room that I've been in for months now. I think that's pretty much <laughs> fair to say. How about yourself? Yeah, no, I, I have been having a, a great commute to work from uh, upstairs uh, to the desk downstairs and then back again. So much traffic on that traffic jam uh, <laughs> bet- between uh, between upstairs and downstairs. Yeah, it's, uh, it's mad how I can even stay sane, which I don't think I have. Well, I mean, to be honest, that's why I think us going into what we've been up to is just, but we just, it's just to focus on the only thing that's keeping us sane, what we're playing, what we're doing. Give us a quick rundown of what's been keeping you occupied this last month. Okay, games that have been keeping me uh, me occupied. I've, I've decided to, I mean, I've playing the, the Valhalla quite a bit as well, and Forza, like you would have heard me say in the in, in the last podcast, but I've made the effort to install a few, uh, a few old gems. I've reinstalled uh, Left 4 Dead 2. Uh, for a little bit of uh, of zombie killing mayhem, uh, I've uh, taken up your advice and had a bit of a play on uh, Shadow Warrior, the, the 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 remake or reboot as yeah. uh, as it was, which uh, you know is is getting better with every minute that I play. I wasn't that impressed to start off with, but every time I play it, it just seems to keep getting better and the jokes keep landing a bit better. And maybe I'm just getting into it a bit more, but uh, but yeah, sort of Shadow Warrior a little bit. And uh, but yeah, that's 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 kind of it to, to be honest. How about yourself? Um, this is going to be embarrassing to say, but after about 60 plus hours, I finally finished Hollow Knight on the PlayStation 4. Um, <laughs> I've got the true ending. I've got 106%. I'm not going to be able to get the 112%, which gives you the um, platinum because 
I can't do the boss rush at the end. I can't do a boss boss rush. And then I kind of finished that. I played a bit of um. I, I, well, I played uh, all the way through uh, Call of the Sea on Xbox oh, nice. uh, nice. uh, S, which was really great. Nice little game on Game Pass, indie game. Starts off as a bit of an adventure, first person kind of narrative story. Starts off as a kind of sort of nineteen thirties style adventure, and then yeah. goes into quite dark places. Um, I don't want to spoil anything, but it turns into I wouldn't say horror, but it goes that way. Um, I think I've seen a trailer for that. I think that that does look pretty pretty interesting. Like, uh, and then after that, I was like, oh, what shall I play? And I was like, hmm, I just don't know what's what's going to do it for me after those games. So I went back to playing Hollow Knight on the Switch, and I am now <laughs> playing a second playthrough of the game that uh, I've. It does not need a next gen. I haven't played, apart from um, you know playing uh, Borderlands with you. I've not played on my PS5 or my new consoles. Uh, <laughs> I've just been playing Hollow Knight, and you know what? I'm okay with it. I absolutely love this game. It is just amazing, and I am going to play this to, com- to completion on my Switch. There you go. Don't care. Come at me. Yeah. No. I, it's it's <laughs> it's such an odd time, and. I think we're starting to see releases dry up of, of, of sort of new content. Um, I mean, I was considering getting the medium, maybe. I, I heard sort of some okay things about that. But uh, uh, at the end of the day, you, you've kind of got to do yeah, you know, play the game that makes you feel good, the, the game that's, that, that you're in the mood for. It's just a perfect lockdown game. It's just all about exploration. And it's got a beautiful world and art. And I don't know, there's just something really... I can just lose hours to it. I just... I, I feel like I'm probably going to ejaculate if I keep talking about it, so I'll stop. But... <laughs> Please do, yeah. No, my my ear can't take that. I do have a question for you. Actually, this is this is hardware related. I'm not talking about your junk or anything. I mean, gaming yeah. hardware related. Make a nice change, sure. Go on. You got the Series X. I do. I do have the Xbox uh, Series X. Thank you, uh, Mister Horrible Scalper. I've got Series S. Yeah. Yes, you do. How hot does your Series X run? As in, like, as in to touch? Not like, I'm not doing any heat monitoring and stuff like software, just purely, yeah, awesome. you know, is it, does it get wow, pretty... Wow. Yeah, not like... You know, like, say, not like is it, oh, it's so hard? No, 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 no I mean, like, as in physically, like, you know, if you put your hand near it, like, does your hand get burnt? No, uh, my, mine's absolutely been fine. I mean... If you take one look at the, uh, the 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 Series X, though, I mean, you look at the top of it, and it's basically all all fan grey. It's all it's all ventilation in there as well. I mean, I know they were uh, with the, some of the issues they had with the even going back as far as the 360 and the Xbox One that they they really wanted to make sure that it was quiet and it kept and it kept cool. So they basically just drilled massive holes in the top of it, and uh, you know, I think it would take a lot of uh, a lot of processor power for the uh, the Series X to to properly overheat. So uh, yeah, whenever I've uh, kind of shut it down at the end of a gaming session even if it's been quite quite a while it's been it's been reasonable it's been been okay so you're getting some serious overheat issues with your yeah, well, series s all right so you, like, the series s is really tiny like i can't like when i got out of the box it is small and i know that i like, can compare to like a ps5 you know yeah uh, skyscraper small but like <laughs> this is like it is small it is like half the size of the uh, Xbox uh, One S. Mm, it, yeah, it's, tiny. it's got no disc drive in it. I know but it's tiny. So you've got a little black circle thing on the top. And anyway, I was I was literally just going to turn it off when I've been playing only an indie game. Nothing you know called to see was not that graphically intensive. Couldn't hear a fan at all, so I couldn't hear any fan. Mm. Put my hand over the top of it, and it felt really, really warm. And it's the huh. point where I was just like, hmm, that feels very, very hot. You know, like it wasn't just warm; it was like it was hot, hot. You know, okay. okay. Continue, yeah. So, so I was, this isn't I was, one of those games that you've put in it to just because you you heard a rumor that it would make it overheat, and you're trying to keep your house warm without paying for heating bills or anything. No, I mean I'm not complaining about the heat because I think you know this is this is great because I can turn the central heat. I mean, I'm a you know middle aged dad, so uh, <laughs> I can turn the central heating off and then heat my family by playing video games. It's the perfect dream. Um, but no, it, it's I'm more worried about the summer to be honest when it gets really hot. And, yeah, sure, um, sure. And it does get this. So I was just like. Pfft. So I googled it and stuff like that, and I can't see anyone really complaining apart from people saying like, "Don't worry, it will it will turn off if it gets too hot." Mm. Um, and I was wondering like, well, it's supposed to be a fan, but it's completely silent. Huh. Now I don't know whether it's completely silent because it's supposed to be completely silent, or it's completely silent because the fan's not working. I just I just don't know. I have yeah, no, idea. no, that's 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 worth um, kind of checking up up on perhaps. I mean, uh, it's all in a, a nice clear part of your uh, part of your gaming sub. There's nothing. Yeah, around I mean, it. it's it's right next to where I put most of my consoles, which is next to my um, oven. So it's um, yeah, <laughs> sure, sure. Um, and then I make sure it can't fall off the shelf because I put like several big heavy books on top of it. 
Well, I mean, oh, that's obviously you have to do that with any console, really. I mean, yeah, and on either side of it as well, and in front of it. Uh, it's really boxed in. Um, mm. It's a small like in place for the invisible eye tunnel to connect to my um, controller, I believe. Sure, sure, yeah. Mm. So, so yeah. I mean, apart from all that stuff, it's completely clear all the way around. It works. Yeah, well I mean, apart from that, it's pretty clear, and it's also um, underground. But apart from that, it's completely clear. <laughs> Yeah, encased in concrete or something. Jeez. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, I don't, no. don't want to get cancer or something off it. Crying out loud. No, that, uh, you can't be too careful with, uh, with with getting cancer from games console. I mean, uh, I'm sure that's one of those things on that crazily QAnon website thing. Oh, without a doubt, everything gives you cancer on that website. Just looking yeah. at the website probably gives you cancer. I mean, well, yeah, no, actually, no, 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 I does. wouldn't be surprised if it does kind of give you some kind of like brain cancer, <laughs> brain melting, uh, melting deficiency. Absolutely, yeah. Uh, so, so yeah, if anyone's a QAnon subscriber here, welcome to the podcast. We we clearly might have some differences if we wanted to talk about that, but but hey, it's nice to have you. Yeah, kind of. Um, <laughs> Anyway, we, we've got we've got quite and it's the start of the year. Well, you know, it's the end of the first month of the year, and we've got a quite a stack of stories. Should we get into that? Yeah, but I, I think it's time to to get onto the news uh, section. So let's mm-hmm. stop waffling on and talk about the the from the jam bags news. And welcome, Jam Baggers, to our regular segment of From the Jam Bags. This is our new segment where we talk about the uh, absolutely 100% real and not made up news stories that are going on in the world of gaming this month. And it has been, surprisingly, for you know early part of a, a new year, uh, a month with some interesting news, hasn't it, Rudy? Oh, I mean, yeah, it's it's a weird world out there. You know, stuff's getting delayed left and right. COVID's playing havoc. You know, people, you know, not enough con- new next-gen consoles out there for all the punters. Um, just just madness and out of that it's born some pretty pretty big stories so let's let's just uh, go straight into them shall we absolutely i say so uh the first one up we've got uh, another new story uh from one of the absolute gaming giants uh, a company that keeps getting bigger bigger strength to strength it's the the wonderful maxi pad uh so maxi pad as you know they they make other products they make for full-on operating systems for PCs, uh, as well as the uh, the Mbox and the Mbox Mini, which we've uh, mentioned a few times. We've actually contributed to the marketing of those uh, those products on this uh, on this podcast, mm-hmm. uh, and they've they've gotten a bit of egg on their faces uh, this month when uh, uh, there was a leak from their offices revealed that the MaxiPad, the standard uh, gaming subscription they've got, which is called MaxiPad Code Red, uh, their online service uh, was planning to double in price uh, for anyone looking to take on a new contract. Did you wow. see this one? I did I did hear that Code Red had, um, had caused some issues this month or, or just at this point in the month. Um, and it seems... It seems it seems odd that uh, they didn't anticipate this was going to happen. Yeah, no, they, they didn't think there'd be a bad reaction to to this to this code red leak. Uh, the, 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 clearly, the, I think anyone who was looking at it would have would have made the same kind of very rational reaction uh, to it. So um, they, they've been trying to shift their market strategy to push their new service. They've got this new thing which is called MaxiPad uh, Ultra, uh, which is uh, the one that offers the same stuff that you get with MaxiPad Code Red, but also uh, a, an, an online library of digital games. Uh, that you pay one price for, uh, and that's uh, that's the new. So they're trying to make the code red thing less appealing, so more people buy maxi pad ultras. Mm, it's an interesting approach. But... Yeah. Now, I, again, it, it it seems sort of it's scummy in the background. They're really trying to make one thing less appealing, so that the other one is uh, becomes the better option. So. Yeah, no, I'm I'm not too keen. This this feels this feels like a bad bad approach there. Now, so after the leak, MaxiPad went into a full scale meltdown on Twitter. They were screaming at every single one of MaxiPad's uh, followers uh, that they, they would never do such a thing, uh, that it wasn't them being irrational, it was all of us, and that that we all think they're hideous now, don't you? Which has prompted everyone who follows them on Twitter to to apologise, slowly back away, and hope that they will calm down in about a week or so. I mean, that's what you did. I mean, and, and I did. We both got those messages from yes. MaxiPad. Um, and I just thought this, you know, best to stay for silent on this one. Um, yeah, no, I, I felt super bad about whatever it was that I was being sort of insinuated that I had done here and, and thought, no, 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 we're, 
We don't think yeah. you're hideous. We're, we're, you're, you, you're you're lovely. You're you're wonderful, and and please don't hurt us anymore. And I'm not even a code red subscriber, so well, yeah. But no, hey. you just kind of followed on the on the Twitter that time, and they they seem to pick up on that. So wow, I mean that is you know quite the public meltdown from a well, multi yeah. you know, national company like that. But you know, I mean, now we're all kind of got the feeling it's our fault somehow that that, that they decided to do this kind of crazy reactionary uh, price doubling thing, and uh, we certainly feel very sorry about it, and, uh, and 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 we won't do it again. But it shouldn't shouldn't be them saying we won't do it again because doubling the price of of their subscriptions. Okay, well, from that bombshell yeah. to some really surprising business news here. Now we're gonna not gonna touch on the GameStop shares in this section. We've got a. We're going to do some more detailed analysis and planning on that later. But this one, it's all about the Epic Games store. So for those not new, the Epic Games is a PC-based store. Uh, mm. It's uh, set itself up. The guys that make Fortnite and um, Unreal Engine have set themselves up to try and take on Steam and Valve. Um, and they've got their PC store with the, the spent a lot of money on timed exclusives and a mm-hmm. very very piss poor storefront. Um, and it's central does it still not have a does it still not have a, a shopping cart? Does it still not have a you know? Is it, do you still have to sort of buy one thing at a time? Is it, yeah, it's, still it's got bad? it's still really basic. Um, I was on the other day and and I'm one of these people that it fits into. But their strategy has been um, and it, it's well, what they're finding is that they've got a very particular strategy and. Um, and their strategy is that they hook people in by giving them really, really good games for free every month. Um, but that's turning out to not be the money maker they thought that might be, which is mind blowing. It anyway. It's mind boggling. That is that how how is giving things away for free doesn't how does that not make you money? Yeah, I mean, uh, reports show that sales stayed static through 2020 despite an increase in digital sales in the marketplace. Hmm. Um, and this is despite them giving millions upon millions of free games away um, to a record number of free game subscribers. Um, I've got a, a clip, sound clip here from an Epic Games rep who called us to say, uh, I'll just, let me just uh, cue this audio up. Um, Play. Oh yeah, we can't understand that actually because our storefront was limited, our pricing high and we annoyed all gamers with exclusivity and then we gave away stacks of really good free games. Why aren't people buying more? I mean, pff, our analysts are perplexed. Wow! Yeah, no. I, I, who could have seen that coming? The, I, the, the I that, uh, am very surprised. I mean, I'm, I am always on Epic Games Store getting the free games um, mm. and not buying anything from them because they're far too overpriced. Uh, and then and then going on to um, one of the other far more reasonable um, PC code stores. So I've got no idea why. This yeah, is no, I, I had no idea they were giving stuff away for free. But I might sign up for an account and get some free stuff and not actually spend any money there. And uh, I don't know if that will help their business at at all, but... uh, That's their strategy. So, I mean, hey, I mean, let's just see how things pan out. But, I mean, again, we're no... We are quite clearly no economic econom econom. We're not people. <laughs> Can't even say the word we don't economists. People, people no. have got money and, and things. Money and financing, um, but stuff. and we can't understand how this is failing. I just it just seems mad. Anyway, it's it, it, it's crazy. Okay, so moving on to our our next story of the of the night, the uh, the continuing controversy surrounding uh, Scalper Island. Now, you may remember from the news story in our last podcast that uh, the uh, the Scalper Nation has uh, taken over an island the size of Greenland in the in, in the middle of the Atlantic mm-hmm. and has uh, become a, a haven for overpriced consoles and uh, overpriced trainers, overpriced stuff in general. Uh, is is there and as with the success of these scalpers is continuing to grow uh so is the the island they're actually being able to, cr- to create more land mass over there with all the money that they're making and uh you know they are uh, just kind of becoming more of a more and more of a, an issue more of a uh, a presence in the world um so the island is continuing to grow in size retailers are continuing to do absolutely nothing about the scalping problem and scalpers are generally bragging about the sheer amount of uh, of games that they are uh, able to get all in one go you can see people showing uh, screenshots of their inboxes with you know you have you know thank you for your order confirmation sort of 10 times over mm-hmm. and you know it's clearly the whole one one per customer thing isn't really uh, really working on these retailers uh, the scalpers, because the island is now the size of New Zealand, uh, they've started developing their own scalper accent, and they now have a fondness for sheep, much like other similar-sized islands that uh, that we may have visited in the past. Uh, so, obviously, this is you know we're 
playing a bit, uh, t- taking a bit of artistic license with this one, but it is continuing to be an issue with the scalpers bragging about the number of consoles they are able to get. Uh, every time there's a new online uh, stock replenishment, uh, no one who's actually a gamer seems to be able to purchase a console. Uh, stocks are completely decimated. Uh, governments and manufacturers are doing nothing about it because they get paid, so they don't seem to care. Rudy, what's your take? I mean, I think the fact that the scalpers are now able to form their own independent nation and develop a agrarian-based economy um, uh, via their scalping profits is an environment that it's gone too far. Um, and yeah, um, it, it makes you realise. I, I do have a PlayStation Five, um, and it makes you realise just how astoundingly lucky I was to get it. Not you know any kind of skill, and that. Um, blind luck has, has got me one and there's so many people out there that want one and can't it's uh it's a little getting to, to sort of sad states really i mean it's just the, the sheer amount of people and uh, i know okay particularly in america there's a lot of sort of very highly strong people queuing outside of uh of i don't know if it's walmart or one of those kind of uh the, the retailers that, that have it there and, and and getting very sort of agitated it's, it's causing a, a lot of uh, heated tempers and stuff like that whereas uh it feels like these these scalper people that actually have online presences and uh, uh, are, are just kind of putting stuff out there into the media about hey hey check us out see how how great we ha- we've been at, uh, at getting more PS fives. We don't feel bad about it again. No, I mean, I got, what, what else can we say about these scalpers at this point apart from curse their black hearts? Yes, well, I mean, it's, it's just one of those uh, one of those things, and uh, I think possibly even worse because. Of the fact that COVID, people can't actually go to physical retailers. They are reliant completely on online sales, and online sales are, are easy to uh, sort of intercept through uh, bots and uh, and all that sort of thing, and, and fooling the captures and all that sort of stuff. It's yeah, it's it's a sad time. Well, on that note, I've got a slightly you know more upbeat story. Well, actually, it's an interesting one. It was a story that I'd sourced. I was looking through my notes after you had a go, and I can see some stuff written in handwriting afterwards. So I'm just going to cover on what I've got in my notes first, and I'll go on mm-hmm. to what this childish scrawl below it says. But this is great, that heartwarming story. I wanted to sort of go out on this one because, you know, gaming gets a bad rap a lot of the time. It does. You know I mean? It does. You know, we're, you know, we're ooh, affecting the stock markets. Oh, we're all right, you know, agitators. Oh, pissing all over PlayStation 5s. But we're not. Okay, for those who have played the rather lovely PlayStation uh, exclusive uh, Ghost of Tsushima. Um, yes, I have done that. A beautiful game, um, really, mm. really sells um, the island of Tsushima um, with such its amazing artwork. And um, after a recent typhoon um, damaged parts of Tsushima Island, uh, including some of the areas that are featured in the game, um, game fans have overwhelmingly supported an online fundraiser to help restore one of the shrines that was damaged. Um yeah, some of those Tory gates. I think uh, yeah. I mean, not in the British sense of being a Tory gate. It's more of a, an actual, you know, a, a nice Japanese thing, not a, not a scummy UK politician. But yeah, yeah those, I, I think those people. Things. I think no one no one tried to erect um, any of our politicians in Japan. Although <laughs> God, no, yeah. that's no, still not quite far enough away for most of them. But um, you know, and I think that's a lovely, lovely story, and something we should hear more of. And in fact, though, I've also got written here in um, what I presume to be the writings of a madman, but. Um, it's just sharpie. A, you can read sharpie or crayons. Jeez, it's 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 crayons. But um, but there's been several similar Kickstarter campaigns, which yeah, I've been asked to report on here, that sprung up from residents of a place called Night City. Oh yeah, I Night don't, City. I don't, yeah, that's that's a real place. Whereabouts? Whereabouts? Oh, uh, where is that? I suppose. It's it's kind of sort of most of america now in a sort of judge dready sense of the word judge dready right okay anyway it says that the entire place has been damaged by some kind of dumpster fire created by the city's planning committee and the kickstarters are asking for money to fix it um, oh right yeah so that 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 uh, that that place that, that that definitely real place of night city yeah and those... i'm just gonna i'm just gonna quickly have a quick I'm just gonna have a quick um, no, search don't, online don't, for this. Don't need to do uh, that. This Kickstarter because this doesn't seem like. Hang on a minute. So we're like Kickstarter campaign started. I can see three, all very similar, uh, and sponsored by D. Rodriguez. <laughs> no, that's. Oh, have you? Are you trying to get money to fix Cyberpunk again to get more devs? We said we. Should, I really want that T-shirt. Jeez. <laughs> right. Okay. We're gonna. That's it. Our news stories are over. We need to move on. We need to move on. Right. Okay, fine. Stay to the game.
Gaming Nation. Hey, Rudy! I was wondering if I could borrow some money. You know, real money, Bitcoin, whatever you happen to have. You know, five, five pounds-ish, maybe. Whatever I happen to have. <sighs> right. What is it for this time? You don't... This isn't about those laxatives again, is it? You don't need more, because the... GBHQ still toilet here has not recovered. I can tell you that for nothing. Well, no, 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 nothing like. Well, well, yes, I do need more of that, but that's not why I want the money. Okay, I'm going to regret asking this. What is the money for this time? Well, I, I've just downloaded that Robin Your Blind app on my phone earlier today, and I, I wanted to buy some of that game platform stock. You know. Oh, not no, 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 not you as well. Come on, look. Suddenly. Everyone on all my feeds, everyone on on Shredder is a stockbroker, okay? I mean, really, what are you going to do with an extra £5, okay? What is it? What? Well, I mean, it's, it's, it's going to show those 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 Wall Street f***ers that, that we can't be pushed around, eh? eh, eh, eh or, or messed about with, eh, comrade? Right, right, yeah? Mm-hmm. Comrade? We? Right. Who's we in this equation, okay? Do not go roping me in with the rest of you diarrhea ploppers, okay? Oh, you corporate cum stain. Jeez. God. Did those Wall Street types get to you too? Look, I don't know what you think is going on, okay? I don't even reading on Shredder, okay? But this is not some big conspiracy, okay? This isn't Darren Aronofsky's breakthrough indie hit pile filmed in black and white with weird music and stuff, okay? Nobody from Wall Street is going to go spy on you or chase after you on the subway or anything weird like that. Well, that, that's exactly what a Wall Street spy would say. You, you don't even live in the US. It's, you're not, Wall Street isn't even your stock exchange. Anyway, right. I don't understand the stock market, okay? But I'm going to go out onto a limb and say you've no idea how any of this works and you've barely thought any of this through. There's no need for thinking, Rudy. This is, this is about showing the Wall Street types that we aren't going to take this crap anymore. What crap? Tell me exactly how Wall Street hedge funds and their shorting of stocks of companies that you've never visited or in fact can do because you're on another continent have made your life worse anyway at this point. Okay. Mm -hmm. Well. I'm thinking, all right, oh, God, can't all be as quick as you. And that's what your wife said. Oh, very mature, Mr. Big Time Finance Pants. Look, anyway, look, this this is about the morality of, of traders and those people using companies that are failing to, to make a packet. At least, I think it is. I mean, isn't that what happened in that Trade in Places movie? Maybe. I mean, I just remember, um, you know... Jamie Mimi Lee Curtis. Curtis. Mm. <laughs> yeah, okay, but, I mean, yeah, that that was probably the, the, the highlight of it. Sure, sure, sure. But, I mean, didn't the guys in that movie walk off with a bunch of cash? D- uh, d- d- did they? Did they? Did they really? I mean, pff, I mean, that whole part of it is is a bit of a blur to me. To be no, come on, let's stop here for a second. You've got no idea about how you know. Well, the economy or anything works at all, do you? Nope. And you're basing what to do with our money on a 1980s Christmas movie. Uh, well, I mean, well, when you put it that way, maybe. And I'm going to guess it's not any kind of real moral crusade. You are, in fact, looking to get rich slightly quick using stock market movie magic uh, yes sir i thought so i thought this might be the case look i've already invested 15 pounds now with your fiver i can make it an even 20 i mean what do you say i'll, I'll give you 10 percent of whatever i make okay let me just let me just work this out so you've got 15 pounds and i give you five pounds so just you know Really basic maths here. If I put in 25% of the money that you're putting on there, I mm-hmm. should get, I mean, forgetting that this has been going on for a while now, nobody's going to win particularly big on it. But hey, 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 well, I, I, I made the investy thing this morning with, with my £15, and I've already made uh, £14.29. Wait a second. Is that the total of what you've got right now? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's bound to, to pick up again. And, okay, now it's £13.27. Oh, uh, nine fifty-three. Oh, fuck. Okay, so apparently now I somehow owe them thirty-eight. 
70 quid. Oh. 70. What the hell happened? Well, someone found out the guy with the worst credit rating in all of England, Europe, sorry, Europe now, in all of Europe, had invested in game platforms. Literally everyone who's doing whatever it was that they were doing stopped doing the thing that they were doing, which I still have no idea about what the thing is that they were doing was. Well, that's harsh, but that's my friend, is why I never gamble, Mr. Rodriguez. From 15 down to minus 70, you got ass blasted there, my friend. Ooh, num, 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 num. smugness feels good. Mm. <laughs> well, I mean, at least you went in for 25%. I mean, technically it went down to, to minus 80, but I took out what you owed from that lot too. So. Uh, hang on a minute, I didn't actually give you any money, you idiot. I'm not paying a quarter of your gambling debts. Well, the thing is, I mean, you, you said it out loud just that little time there, and that constitutes an oral pact. You know, unlike our video piracy sketch from a few months ago, when you say it out loud, it is legally binding with these Wall Street types. Do 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 do. F- all that, Dante. Seriously, you are on your own with this one. You sh- 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 not so loud. They've got ears everywhere, Rudy. Look, I'm not scared of finance people. I mean, how can scary can a bunch of guys in suits actually be? Oh, hang on a minute. That's funny. I didn't remember seeing a pentagram on the floor when I walked in here. No, 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 Rudy, don't step there! <sighs> Make sure it's mine. Rudy! Oh, my God, Rudy! Don't, they've taken Rudy. Rudy. <gasps> so I'll get that fiver later then, yeah? Four. Five, six. Oh, that's a funny sound coming from below my toilet. Oh, 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 Rudy, you're back. Yes, yes, I'm back from where you got me dragged to Satan's bumhole. Thank you very much, uh, Mr. Rodriguez. Uh, however, I am free and I have made my pact to the devil and I am back now to finish up our podcast podcast, podcast recording. You, you made a pact with the devil. What, 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 how did you get out of that? Oh, I promised him your soul or something. Who cares? You know. <laughs> Joke's on them. I've not got a soul. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> exactly. <laughs> they should really do their homework. They anyway, really I feel pretty good about this deal. So I think it's about time that I gave you and our listeners a crash course in how the stock market is working at the moment. Yeah, because that, that, that whole entire last segment of the podcast should really make it very clear to all our listeners that certainly I have no effing clue what's going on with uh, this whole Wall Streety, Shorty, finance thing. And I think you might have a slightly better idea than I do, which might be a slightly better idea than some of our listeners. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's really quite simple. Now, let me, <clears throat> let me just begin this short but brief presentation into what's going on in the stock market. Oh, you didn't make a PowerPoint. How long were you down there for? Time works differently in hell, uh, Dante. Time works uh, differently. But all right, all right. you get all the time you want to make PowerPoints in hell. And that's a fact. Anyway, let me just go through this first part of the presentation. So first of all, I'd like to thank everyone here for attending this quick presentation that I've got on Wait, the current GameStop stock situation. Obviously, this is just, dated just at me the here. end of this, January. This... Shh, please, uh, sir, oh. everyone else trying to listen. Um, <sighs> this is obviously uh, dated at the end of January, so this financial advice may change in the coming days. It is a fluid situation as the stock market is. Anyway, why is all this fuss about GameStop? Okay, uh, you, sir, you, sir, you've got a question. Me? Me? Oh, yes. Okay. What is what is happening? Why is it happening? And why should I care? <laughs> you idiot. Okay. Let me, just, uh, let me just back up for a second. You might be interested in the news story because it's from GameStop. And they're a company that sells... Video Get ah, There yes. you go. This is why we're bringing it up on this podcast. Well done, Dante. Okay. You're not as yeah. stupid as I first thought. Anyway, let me carry on. With anyway, we, we call them game platforms so we don't get sued, remember? So game platform. Um, <laughs> <laughs> we're not going to go into that right now. Um, so here's how it works. Game, pla- game platform, we're not doing very well. Right. Okay. No, I, I I seem to remember even our podcast making fun of them on a fairly regular basis. So mm-hmm. we tend to only do that for people that have, have really badly fucked up. Okay. Yeah. Yep. No, I'm with you yep. so far. So here's how the stock markets work. Okay. Stocks are basically a value of the company. And if people own stocks, <sighs> 
they make money. Oh, this is taking and if value ever. Down, it's they... so boring. I mean, if you listen to him waffle, well geez. Well done, excellent. I that's, wish I'd brought some That's pretty much how stock market works. You're free Even to go the PS no, I'm just joking. Oh. However, I could be burning around Vice City right now. There's an other thing to people this do, bullshit. Shorting. Oh, financey, okay. financey, you... wah, wah, wah. Shorty, shorty, shorty. Okay. Oh, sound like such a twat, Rudy. Yeah. So basically, shorting okay. is when you hire right. no. Ryan Gosling. Got my Vita under the to, table. To um, do so some financial stuff for you. And what Ryan Gosling City does on your behalf, with the help of <gasps> Christian Bale being autistic, with a fake eye. Good God, he doesn't have jabber on. This PowerPoint's rubbish. It's, I mean, it's a very famous Times New Roman really on a PowerPoint. Come on, watch uh, this film to understand Ugh. economics. Okay, so oh, anyway, man. what finance what's is so is that you can do what's called a I just short. wanted to talk about and games means, and people being dragged to hell. And uh, I'm not going to listen to this anymore. I could be playing, I don't know, Diablo or something in my head. Yeah, so, dungeon crawling. So why not? What's happening okay. here with the shorting is that See if he notices me playing on my Xbox around the corner. Assholes. Have just been, behind um, him. Basically, mm-hmm. betting mm-hmm. against yes, really. GameStop, just keep jabbering on. Fail so they can make money. Here's I how they do it. I okay? completely know everything so you're talking about, right, and I'm um, taking it all in. Right, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Don't, don't pay right attention, attention to this controller your, in my hand. Um, nope, nope. It's cares? all just right. entirely coincidental. And I'm listening to you. I'm paying attention. Not thinking you're a massive bell end. Yeah, and attacking all these. Bad guys. No, oh, yeah. Mm-hmm. So, in uh, conclusion, mm-hmm. that Dante is where babies come from. No, Oh, wait. okay. Uh, Sorry, story? I meant to give you that story as well. So, you know those kids you've got, yeah? Yeah. No, they just turned up one day and, you know, they're, <clears throat> they're sweet and everything, but they look nothing like me. They look a lot like the postman. Yeah. So, about that, let's... Um... <laughs> Hey man, end of the podcast. Uh, it's yeah, been a it's no. been a long one this year. This year? Well, well yeah, this no, week, it must this month. Oh god, it, I can't even get my net words right. What a well, you've been in hell for for at least how long? How long were you in hell for? Uh, in human years, like hmm. only about uh, thirty or forty seconds. But in hell years, about two hundred years. Um, wow! So so you're really old and wise and shit now. Yeah, I learned how to play jazz piano. Wow. Okay, okay, no. Check this out, ready? What we're doing after check this. this out, check this out. Whoa! So that, that what you sold your soul for before you sold mine to get out? No, it's really weird. It turns out that every single jazz musician's in hell. It's weird. They just oh, taught wow. me, yeah. Just, okay. Yeah. Hanging out with those guys. It's, between it is surprising who is in hell and who isn't. I'm going to tell you that right now. <laughs> anyway, man, we've got quite a few questions. I'm going to... Crack right on if that's okay with you. Um, yeah, you you crack one out. Go for it. First one is from a Mister Whitchurch. Ah, Mister Whitchurch. Okay, mm-hmm. you know you. Now uh, this chappy has got some moves. Just going to say it right now. Some good dance moves. Uh, I've I've seen them. Wow. But he asks, "What is the best worst weapon from the Worms franchise?" So, best worst weapon from the from the yeah. Worms franchise. It's your best weapon. Okay. I I remember the. Uh, I think I only played the first Worms uh, Worms game. Maybe Worms to one of the second ones as well. But uh, you know the uh, the best worst weapons. Um, I mean, I remember the, the 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 sheep being quite good and sort of backfiring on me quite terribly. Mm-hmm. Uh, is that the sort of thing he's looking for? Well, I think it's about what's your best and worst one. I can answer mine in one. In one weapon, because it's the both, which was that I played quite a lot of worms um, back in the day, uh, back in yeah. the late 90s, I think, uh, mid to late 90s. Um, primarily multiplayer with, um, with various friends, including um, our filthy assistant. And I, yes. I was shit at it. Like, I can't <laughs> tell you. And I, I, this is possibly the way I act in life, which is that I just give up. I just, just go, there's no point. You know, I get to a point yeah. and I go, like, I'm not going to win this, so what's the point? So I would just don the kamikaze mask and just <laughs> hust my worms anywhere in an attempt that, well, you know, if I'm going, I'm taking as many of you bastards with me. Um, and I would do that within two moves at the start of the game. I'd be like, oh, 
I'm not going to win this. Oh, really? I'm not going to win? Yeah. Oh, no, it's just kamikaze. I was going to kamikaze. And I just think I loved about the... It just, it just, <laughs> there was an element it appealed to my childish mind. So that's both my best weapon, because it's the most damaged yeah. with it, but also my worst, because I also lost every time, because they always do always end up just kamikaze and people. Um, and if anyone from our from our high school days remembers playing Worms with me, that is very much accurate, and I think they'll agree with that. Yeah, no, I, I, like I said, I seem to remember the, 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 the sheep one backfiring on me lots of times because it would never run where, where I was expecting it to. I'd always save it up for like a really great thing. It would just become massively anticlimactic when it just <laughs> blew the crap out of me instead of uh, instead of somebody else. Uh, I would say I had the best memories of uh, just the plain shotgun. I, I, I remember getting some quite good kills just by taking out the space of ground underneath someone with a with a with the worm shotgun. And so uh, yeah, that's that, that would be my uh, my pick for best and worst uh, worms weapons. Uh, good question. Thanks very much. Um, uh, good old uh, not Chris Whitty, the um, you know medical no. person, but um, good old Mister Witcher. So. Another question here from I'm going to go with I'm not going to read out his full handle, but um, we call him Sexy Buns Right. Sexy Buns Right. Well, yeah, uh, that's that's, sexy that's, guy. How I, that's how I know him. Um, sexy Buns Right asks, how did he come up with your quirky nicknames? Now he is actually alluding oh. to I think our real names, which we're not going to reveal on this particular podcast because um, absolutely not. But there's got to be some sort of unusual superhero origin story level event that brought these about. And the answer is no. No, not no, really not. Not in the slightest. Um, also, can you, you remember where your one came from? Can you remember where your name came from? Okay, so, so mine um, mine actually came is is a slight, very kind of sideways reference to The Simpsons. In particular, the, uh, the film festival episode of The Simpsons, if anyone is familiar with uh, perhaps the Simpsons golden age back in the kind of the season six and seven kind of air ish air era. I think it may, might be even a bit, bit later than that, but uh, the Simpsons was really kind of uh, firing on all cylinders uh, back then. And Mr. Burns uh, wanted to get involved with a, a, a film competition to create the best, uh, the, the, the best film about, about whatever to, to win the competition. And he said to his sycophantic colleague uh, Smithers, uh, get me Steven Spielberg and Smithers. Well, he's, not available, sir. And he said, uh, "Okay, then get me his uh, m- non-union Mexican equivalent." And he's then there talking to this guy that looks just like St- St- uh, Steven Spielberg, but he's you know slightly Mexican-looking. He says, "Okay, Senor Spielbergo, this is the film. The film I want." He's all "Es muy bueno" and all, all that sort of thing there. So I started to think who my uh, non-union Mexican equivalent would be. Uh, Dante Rodriguez is what I eventually came up with, forgetting that Dante is more of an Italian kind of name, but. Yeah, that's 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 what I came up. I mean, obviously, uh, Rodriguez is uh, is is a name from someone in Mexican that sounds a little bit like my uh, my real name, and uh, my other my first name starts with D, and that's as many clues as you're all getting. Well, that is a far better story than my my name uh, came from. I just stole mine, um, basically. <laughs> just just I, straight up stole it. Yeah, I, I'm not going to say where I stole it from because uh, you know <laughs> I don't want to get sued. But where I stole it from was that I like uh, comedy, and I particularly I'm one of those people that likes uh, that only really likes people before they were famous. So this is a famous comedy sort of um, uh, comedy brand who uh, very early in their career got their first shot started with a radio series that no one's ever heard. Um, so this is going back at nearly 20 years that I first listened to this and almost in almost certain in ad lib section they referred to the name to a name in it and it always made me laugh and I just thought eh, I'm gonna nick it and you know I think 20 <laughs> years is fair game so that's it I stole it from far far funnier people than than what we is and that's, that's not hard though really is it I mean, no not 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 difficult at all um, that's the sad <laughs> truth of things. But there you go. I I, st- I stole mine. I stole mine. Okay. So I, I I've had one more question from uh, a, a, I think it's a fairly frequent contributor. The, the name seems to change. It's Humongous Coons no, seems to yep, have, uh, yep. have got in touch again. Yep. And Humongous Coons wants to know what is our most anticipated gaming release for the uh, upcoming year for 2021. Upcoming release. Well. Yep. Um. I'm going to say cyberpunk. (laughs) (laughs) Oh, you're so droll. Still hurts, man. Stop flogging that. I know. I'm going to podcast without talking about that. 
I'm going to tongue oh. that wound. Oh. Here's my tongue okay. in your wound. Can, can we save that till after, like normal? Uh, yeah, actually, let me come out how I wanted it to sound. I'll, I'll let it a bit out. Um, okay, my one's really simple. Go for it. Silk song. Nice. Yeah. Yeah, of, yeah clearly you're, you're looking forward to that. Um, because, on my second uh, playthrough of Hollow Knight in a row, yes. I've literally, as I've said, there's going to be a. Is it a sequel? Is it a prequel? I don't know, but it's got a little tiny bug with another blade in it. I'm in. I want that game <laughs> straight away. I want to gobble that. It might not even come out this year. They've got no release date, but yeah. you know they announced it like two or three years ago. So please let me play it. No, m- mine's a bit like that. Mine's uh, the one that I'm looking forward to. I mean, it should have come out last year, uh, but I think they had some staffing changes. They had like a lead creative director leave or something like that, or. And obviously, just COVID is slowing everything down. But I'm I'm really looking forward to Vampire: The Masquerade, Bloodlines Two. Uh, I, mean, I mentioned some of the NPCs as being one of my favourites of all time in our questions a couple of uh, in the last month's podcast. Uh, but yeah, just the whole world that it creates. Uh, uh, you know, an RPG that's not all kind of uh, orcs and demons and and mages and that sort of thing. It's it's got a slightly different lore to it. Uh, uh, I'm really looking forward to that. If indeed it does come out this year, which is not really all that guaranteed. Exactly. This is going to be a year where it's just so hard to say what you're looking forward to because I just couldn't even tell you what's even going to make it out this year. I don't know if Silk Song's going to come out. Um, I would like to think it would, um, but it might not. And yeah. if it doesn't, I will just probably uh, go online and try and dox um, <laughs> Team Cherry who made the game. Sorry, guys, but yeah, yeah. you know. If you don't give me your second masterpiece, I'm gonna dox you. That's the way internet yeah. works. And you said I was the fanatic about cyberpunk. <laughs> <much, didn't you? laughs> no, but I will. I will kill them. Okay, fair. I mean, fair enough. I mean, I, I'm thinking of finally growing a spine and boycotting a Ubisoft game and not getting Far Cry Six. But at the same time, it's kind of the only game that looks reasonable for the next year that that might actually come out. Okay, here's. Do you want? Do you want me to get? Do you want me to tell you how to get around? Um, uh, Far Cry Six and uh, the whole. You know, is, this, is this the Sterling method? Is this uh, the, the Gene Sterling? No, method? no. This is actually this is the Rudy Manchego method. I come up with this. It, it, it really only works, I think, for the particular release of Far Cry, Far Cry Six. Yeah. What you do is, I believe yeah. you've got Far Cry Five, haven't you? Yes, and four and three. Yeah. So take any one of those, but just take Far Cry Five. It's close to you on the shelf um, yeah. because it's probably easier. To, what you do is you you know where it's got the bit that says five. Yeah. You yeah. Get a pen. And uh-huh. you just draw around the bottom of the five and make it. Oh, that's genius! And make it a six. Is... Uh, it's not, not quite finished yeah. yet. Then you get the game, you insert it in, and then you set the language, not the subtitles, but the language, the dub language, to Spanish. Yeah. Oh man! And then you've got the yeah. subtitles. Yeah. Boom! You're playing Far Cry Six. You've thought of everything. And that you are playing. It's it is literally the same game every time. All the changes <laughs> of the setting, change the color yeah. settings as well, so it looks slightly less. Like, you know, it looks like a more sort of yellowy haze to make it look more yeah, like it's it, it a sort of, you know, a kind of... Latin you know, yeah, exactly. Kind of, uh, boom shanker, man. To... Boom shanker. You've, you've played the game. You'd be like, oh, yeah, yeah. right. Really interesting um, bad guy. Bland protagonist. I was going to say, so if I, if I play old episodes of Breaking Bad next to it as well... Or I'm The Mandalorian. Like, and do that. Or The Mandalorian, yeah. yeah. No, that, that's, that's, that's a good idea. I'm, I'm sure he's been in other things apart from those two, right? Yeah, uh, The Boys. Yes, yes, of course, the boys. Yeah, no. uh, you know, better call Saul. Uh, well, yeah, yeah. No, I've not seen that one yet. So, uh, so yeah, I assume he's in it at, at one point or another. But, but yeah, okay, no problem solved, and I don't have to give uh, scummy, uh, abusive uh, protectors Ubisoft any more money. That'd be great. Um, I'm still going to get the Valhalla season pass though, because I'm a shit person oh, that's it I think this, that's the end of the podcast I can't we've talked about <laughs> your affliction for buying it yet. seriously you're gonna right anyway let's just let's move on it is okay, the end of the podcast Dante so how can people reach out to us on the socials on the socials well you can contact the uh, Jam Bags Facebook page there is a page on uh, the Facebook website type in uh, Jam Bags in the search and you find should find the Jam Bags comedy gaming podcast in there uh, you can contact us through Twitter there is an official at Jam Bags underscore UK uh, Twitter account where you can see uh, primarily things that are put up there by uh, by Rudy Manchego and you have the uh, the Dante uh, account which is Dan Solo 96 
uh, which is the, uh, you know, the account that is handled by uh, by myself. You can also contact us through the Instagrams. Uh, we have the at jambags underscore UK uh, Instagram account. It's so slightly more uh, active than it has been recently. A few sort of funny gaming bits put here and there. Uh, a bit about that guy who wanted to, to get a, the Doom soundtrack and a creative monster and shoot vaccines at people to get the job done, which... I thought was a great idea, but apparently some people had issues with. Uh, Losers. Yeah, I, I don't know. What, what the hell is that, uh, is that all about? Uh, you can contact us through the uh, message boards on uh, the things that we post on YouTube, which we're going to get to hear more about in just a few moments. But I think that is all of our socials at the moment, Mr. Manchego. Okay. Have I missed anything and what's next? No, you have not missed anything. And where can you, where can you get hold of our, our goodness? Um, apart from Dante bank? hanging out on the street corner, you well pre-COVID. Uh, now he does it by delivery, <laughs> yeah, it and collect. But you can listen to us on um, Apple Podcasts. We are on Spotify and any good podcast app that uses an RSS feed. We host on Simplecast. So if you follow us on social media, we'll always post the link so you can listen to it live there as well. We also post a full copy of this podcast onto our YouTube channel, which you can search for using Jam Bags. Uh, that will bring up a result there, and you can listen to it with a nice background image and um, mm. our dulcet tones ringing across your channels. Uh, if you're there, uh, please do like and subscribe. Um, if you could follow us on Spotify, if you could uh, leave a review on Apple Podcasts, all of which make a big difference to our listenership. They really do so. Please do all of that kind of thing. And I think we're done begging for this month. Yes, no, I think that I think that that's it. That's that's quite the requisite amount of begging of liking and subscribing and following and oh, did we beg for a review as well? We yes. begged for we've begged for everything. I mean, we're literally yeah. we're literally just like some kind of seal on a pedestal begging for fish at this point, aren't we? Ah. Pretty much, yeah. Huh? 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 Yeah. yeah. Now that's it's not a good look, but but it's a look we we have and we've got to work with it. It is, it's our look. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks so much for listening to this month's Jam Bags, and we will catch you on the flip side. Yes, Jam Bags out. See you next month, Jam Baggers. Oh, good pa- podcast, really. Good, good podcast. Oh, so, so, see what you're up to. Oh, wow, that's that's interesting. What are you up to with that? Oh man! All right, I tell you what; these next-gen consoles are legit, don't they? Yeah. All right, I got my Series S. Yeah, I'm playing mm-hmm. a bit of Gears Five. Yeah, in yeah. full 4K up on the big screen. Yeah, nice. And because of that and the out- heat's output, I'm also frying myself a bit of brunch. Do you want a bit? I got some bacon, got yeah. some sausage in there, a bit of a bit of mushroom. I, I mean, I'm, I'm not averse to brunch. That sounds like a really nice thing. Mean, apart from the mushrooms, they can leave those those fucking things out. But, uh, but. Yeah, are you are you sure that's safe? I mean, I'm, I'm happy. I to mean, take some well, punch. look, right? It would. I know these things. I, the, 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 I wouldn't be able to play Gears Five at this bit at this like, output if it was breaking. Would shut itself off. So, I'm getting that. Not only that, it's heating my room as well, and it's just a. Uh, oh, oh! For some reason, the smoke alarms come on. I don't know why that's doing that. Anyway, what? Uh, I might Didn't even know you had in sprinklers well. in here. That's 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 cooling. That's 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 refreshing. Yeah, uh, it's um, yeah. It's also. Uh, Oh, there's some flames coming out the back of the Series S. I think that's oh, that. That's just heat management system kicking. That's, in. that's a heat sink, isn't it? I mean, yes. wow. Seriously, is there anything these next gen consoles can't? Oh, my electricity's gone. Yeah. Yeah, we're still talking. And I'm on fire. <laughs>